The ingredients for your rainbow omelet cakes are eggs, red pepper, green onion, cheese, carrots, and corn. And any other toppings you might want to add might be ham, red onion, mushrooms, tomatoes, green beans, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, or bacon, or any other toppings you might think of. Let's get started. I have all of my materials here, minus a few things. I've got the can opener, fork, a strainer, my corn, the cheese, eggs, carrot, green onion, and red pepper. And we're gonna take these to wash them off. Before we begin assembling our rainbow omelets, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. The other kitchen tools I will be using will be a small paring knife, a grater, and I'm going to be using a peeler for my carrot as well. While peeling my carrot, I'm pushing the peeler away from my body just so I can peel my carrot safely without hurting myself. After our carrot is peeled, it is now time to use your grater and grate your carrot. I'm going to be holding my carrot firmly as I'm gliding the carrot across the sharper edges of the grater. And remember, we wanna be careful with this because the grater can be very sharp. I grated it down as much as I could until we have a bowl full of carrots for our omelets. Next prep will be our red pepper and our green onion. I'm just going to take my paring knife and cut out the stem of the red pepper. Then I'm going to be cutting along the lines that we see on our red pepper so that we can take out the seeds. Next, I'm just going to chop my green onion in half and then begin slicing that into small bits. I'm going to add my green onions to the carrot bowl, but I would suggest adding the green onions and the red peppers to a separate bowl as those are going to be fried in a pan before being added to the omelet. Same with the red pepper, we're just going to be chopping up our peppers into small bits. I'm adding that to my carrot bowl as well. And next I'm going to use my can opener and just get our corn ready. And now that all of our ingredients are prepped, I'm going to prep our pan. By using some cupcake tins, I'm going to line the pan so that it can be ready for our omelets. If you don't have any cupcake tins, you can always line the pan with some oil or a pan. The first thing we're going to do is heat up a small amount of oil into a pan. And once it is warm enough, we are going to add our red peppers and our green onions so that we can fry them up a little bit before adding them to the omelet. After adding your vegetables to the pan, we're going to let them cook for a few minutes as they soften and fry up. After it's been a few minutes and your vegetables are now tender and softened, you can take them off of the heat, turn off your burner, and now you can add the carrots and the corn to the pan as well, just so that those get a little bit warm before you add them to your omelet. I'm going to stir all of my vegetables together. And after those are all mixed, it's now time to assemble your rainbow omelets. Got my eggs here. I'm going to crack them by tapping them onto my flat surface. 
just one hard tap. We have got one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. Well, it looks like I got a shell. That's okay. I can just take it right out. Then I'm going to use my fork and just mix it all together. I'm going to whisk it in circular motions, quite fast paced. This is just going to add air into our eggs so that our omelets will be more fluffy. After your eggs are whisked and combined, I'm going to add the cheese to the bowl. And then I'm going to add the, not all of the vegetables, but some of the vegetables. And I'm going to be using the rest of the vegetables either for another recipe or to make some more omelets. After adding all of your ingredients together, I'm gonna use my fork and just mix it all together. And next we can bring out our muffin tin with our cupcake liners. I'm going to use a measuring cup to help me scoop out my omelette mixture. I'm leaving some space at the top of the cupcake liner just to give my omelettes room to rise. I realized I made more omelette than I thought I did, so I'm adding some more cupcake liners to my tin. If you have any more leftover cheese, you can sprinkle that on top of your omelets as well. And now that our omelets are ready to go into the oven, we are going to let them bake for 25 minutes. After your 25 minutes is up, you have your very own omelet cakes. And these can be stored in the fridge for the week for your breakfast. They're super delicious and fun to eat. Hope you enjoy everyone. Bye, my pee.